One night, Debbie said, Do you know, Mog, when you wake up in the morning, it will be Christmas and there will be presents and lovely things to eat and you will have an extra big egg for your breakfast. Mog dreamed about the big egg. It was very big and it was up in the sky. Mog had to fly up to get it, but some big birds came. They wanted to eat the big egg and one of them wanted to eat Mog. Mog flew as fast as she could, but the bird came after her and suddenly she woke up. Something was stuck to her tail. She tried to shake it off, but it is stuck on and then it went into the fire and made a little fire of its own and two more fires on the rock. She ran out into the street. Some people saw her shoot past. What's that thing with the fiery tail? said one. Perhaps it's a comet, said another one. I would better ring the fire brigade, said the third one. Suddenly, Mog heard a horrible noise. Then she saw the thing that made the horrible noise. She thought, oh no, I'm going home. But the thing came after her. It chased her all the way to her house. Two men jumped out. They had a big yellow snake and they shouted, there is the fire. Suddenly, the snake spat. It did a big speed and there was water everywhere, even on Mog. Then Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Debbie and Nikki came out of the house. They did not come out of the door. They came out of the window. They said, thank you, thank you for saving our house. The fireman said, don't thank us. Thank you, cat. That cat led us to your house. That cat is a hero. Neighbors had come to see what had happened to Mog's house. They all told each other that Mog was a hero. Then it began to snow and they all went home.